In this video I'm going to be doing my second update to Pan of Dinosaurs, so stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Amy and if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you love project planning and beauty content, hit that subscribe button and like this video because they are the type of videos that I do. I've also got hauls and tutorials coming hopefully very very soon. So without further ado, let's get straight into the update. Please excuse the no makeup. It is like up almost six o'clock at night. Um, I've had such a busy day that I've not had time to film. I am pre-filming this as well, but I was hoping to do it later on, earlier on in the day, but it is what it is. So please excuse the lighting, excuse my makeup, or no makeup in, in this instance. Um, we're gonna get straight into it because I have quite an exciting update. So <clears throat> yeah, my voice is also, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Don't know where it's come from, so if I start coughing and I sound a bit strange, again, please excuse it, I'm, I'm fine, I've just got a sore throat. But yeah, we're going to get straight into the update. So yeah, it's been such a crazy couple of months, so I haven't got, it's not the most impressive, um, like, update, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it is what it is, I've not worn makeup in the last month, I don't think, I think I've only worn it once or twice. And more than less than less than I was hoping for, but the last two two and a half months have gone super fast. I don't even know where the time's gone since going back to work, but going back to both jobs and everything. It's just it's crazy. So I, I do apologise on the lack of usage in this month. I'm hoping as the holidays are coming, more makeup is going to be on my face. But who knows? But let's get straight into it. Let's get going. I'm going to start off with the first thing, which is which I don't actually have with me. Give me a second, let me just go find it. I think I've left it in my everyday makeup basket. Give me a sec. I am so organised, but yeah, it was, still, it was still in my everyday makeup basket. And this is the Barry M Fresh Faced Cream Blush. I rubbed this in the intro for something that started a new trend. This, not, this product in particular didn't start a new trend, but there is a new trend at the moment of cream products, so I thought I'd roll in cream blush. Um, the, this is where I was on the intro, I don't know if you can see, and from the first update I used it nine times and brought it down to here. I have only used this once so I can't make a new line, but I do. I am enjoying this, I just need to remember to use it, that's my issue is I'll do it in my home face and makeup then realise I haven't used this and I'm like it's a bit late. But I am enjoying it, which is getting me more into the depths of cream products. So yeah, I am actually thoroughly enjoying this as much as I'm not getting my juice out of it, but it's just remembering. It's a part of a routine that I never did. So yeah, it's just remembering, but it's a really nice product, really blendable. Um, you can build this up. Um, it's very sheer, but so you can build it up to what you would like. But yeah, I am enjoying this, so I'm actually quite happy to keep working on it, to be honest. <laughs> the next product is this pigment, which is from Colour Culture. Um, this one here. I'll try to show the lines. Um, this was from an, a prompt, something that makes you bang your head. I'm actually going to say the dinosaurs this month. So the dinosaur for this one, which was started a new trend, I'm going to butcher it. I'm so sorry. It's Archeotrix. I, I, again, I'll put it here. I'm not very good at pronouncing things and you guys will be wanting me to say it, so... Here we go, and for this one, which is something, make your head bang your head against the wall. Sorry for the light, it's just on my computer. Something that makes you bang your head, which is a Pachycephalosaurus. I think I've got that one, but yeah, um, I use, I've only used this once as well. I'm finding it hard to pair with eyeshadows that I'm using. Um, this was where I was on the intro, and this is where I was after five uses. Obviously, I can't make a new mark. Because I've only used it the once. I'm finding I'm having to put it on top of eyeshadow. Um, as I am now closing up pro um, some projects, there's two I think I've just filmed the um, finale for. So obviously then products are going to go back into my collection or declutter, depending on what I decide. So these products are now going to be in the forefront of my makeup. So I'm hoping, again, that I can get more use out of them. Because I am loving them. This is As much as this is a really nice product, it's a bit of like a pain because I have to put... put concealer or a base on before that, which means I have to cut my crease, and if I'm in a rush, something that's not quite. <laughs> um, the next thing, 
is my setting spray which is my Phoebe setting spray and this is something this was a something that was slow going which was the dinosaur I should have been more prepared but never mind oh stegosaurus I don't know Ste yeah stegosaurus it's a stegosaurus um, I use this it says on here I only used it two times but I'm sure I've used it a couple of times at, my, at work but yeah I will put obviously I'll put pictures and stuff up but this is where I am now obviously I haven't marked it on the box it keeps rubbing off but I think I've used quite a bit it was quite high up I want to say it was like here so I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I'm working through it it's very sticky like it every time I spray it on my face I get like dots on my face so I have to sort of blend it in which I'm finding is a little bit smudgy on my face but no harm in it, I'm getting there. And the last thing, so I only did four products, the last thing is my Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. As you know, I did hit pan on the um, highlighter shade, which is a spoiler for another project, which I don't think is going to be up before this one, but spoiler alert, I'm sorry, I just realised. Um, but yeah, so I was using the bronzer shade. And I used this a total of four times this month, but for a combined total of 19, I hit pan. So I only, I only did four uses to hit pan. Like I said, I used it a total of 19 uses, because I got 15 uses last month. And yeah, so I finally hit pan. This is not my favourite bronzer. It's I have to use so much product just to get like a natural look. It's so sheer. That's probably why I've gone through it so fast. But yeah, it's baby pan. I did stop using it straight afterwards. Um, but yeah, I am glad to call this done. I might, I'm going to probably declutter this because I've not enjoyed the formula. The highlight is awful. I've not tried the blush, going to be completely honest, but the highlight is awful and this is just takes too much work and I've got bronzers in my collection that I do love. So unfortunately, as much as I do love Sleek, I love their lip, like, I love their lip products. This for me did not work out, so I am going to be decluttering that. Obviously you'll see that in my empties coming very soon because my bin is now overflowing so I need to do that very quickly. Which means we get to roll in a brand new a brand new product. So I've got it ready on here, my number generator, 1 to 15. If I do roll a prompt that I've already already um, that I'm already working on, already completed, I will re I will re-roll. It's just I haven't had the chance to cross anything out yet or anything, so so what we're going to get, 1 to 15, number 3, so what's number 3? Number 3 is an dinosaur that I'm not going to be able to pronounce. <laughs> it's an, bear with me, an Arg Argentinosaurus. <laughs> oh, it's something big, heavy or bulky. I think I could find something like that. <laughs> So let's let me go find it and I'll be right back. Right, I am back and I've got something which is more big than heavy and bulky, but I'll oh, bear with me. I've got my Mellow Stardust palette. I got given this by Mellow um, to test out for a video, which if I can find the video, I'll link it up in the iCards. Um, but I haven't used this since because I don't really use face palettes that often. But from what I can remember, the bronzer was really nice. Um, so I want to get used to uh, this. And the big part about this is what not only is it quite a big face palette, is that the pans are massive. Like, I don't know about you, but I feel like that they're quite big for a typical face palette. I might be wrong again, but yeah. So my... Hmm. When does this project finish? Because, let me have a look. So I might set myself an ambitious goal. Let's see. Oh, April. So what I might try and do is see if I can hit pan, see if I can pan the palette. Bit of a outrageous one, I know, but I'm going to try and pan as many of these as possible. Um, I am going to start off with the bronzer. Uh, this bronzer and maybe one of the highlighters. I'm not sure which I'm going to decide yet. I'm going to swatch. But I want to be able to next update have a good dip in 
um, the shade Dawn. Um, but yeah, by April, I feel like I could potentially pan this. But we shall see. It might, it might be a bit of an ambitious goal. But yeah, I want to stretch myself. And definitely next year, I want to stretch myself on a lot of panning. And to try and get use out of my products. And that is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to stretch myself to see if I can hit pan on all four. So if, do you guys think I'm going to hit it? Comment down below. Let me know. So, back in my drawer. Of, uh, I have a desk which has two drawers in it, which is all for my project pan bits, and I stick it all in the everyday makeup basket when I go downstairs. So, yeah, so that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed my update. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think, what my update, what you think my update is going to be next month. And yeah, I am really enjoying this um, project. Like the dinosaurs and everything are absolutely brilliant, and the prompts are really fun. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.